Daniel Vogelback has been non-tendered by the New York Mets. Luis Guillorme has been non-tendered. This is all things Mets. This is where you get your latest Mets media. Everything you know about the Mets on this channel. Definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into today's topic. And that is big, big news about the New York Mets. And they have non-tendered Daniel Vogelback, Luis Guillorme, Jeff Brigham, Sam Coonrod, and man... This and Trevor God as well. So, and yeah, you know, this is good, good news for the New York Mets. Obviously, Daniel Vogelback, a lot of, you know, controversy about Daniel Vogelback. Every, a lot of Mets fans wanted him non-tendered. And this finally is the day. Daniel Vogelback, you know, definitely last night was non-tendered by the New York Mets. And this is great, great news for the New York Mets because Daniel Vogelback, I feel like, you know, there was a lot of controversy with Billy Epler, Buck Showalter, keeping him in the lineup. Nobody wanted him in trades. This guy is a guy that definitely, you know, couldn't swing the bat most of the season. You had to give him a mental break for he can swing the bat and hit you a couple of home runs. But this guy had really no value. This guy wasn't the biggest power guy. This guy was slow on the bases. You had to pitch hit for him so many times. He cost you many outs as well when he was trying to go for second base and hit a double, you know, with and try to run out that double. No, it just wasn't going to happen. Now, Luis Guillorme, that is another situation. That is a big situation for the New York Mets, you know. Luis Guillorme has been a Met for his soul. You know, it feels like so many years. Definitely he's been, you know, a Met basically, you know, his whole career. So this is his first time going to hit free agency Definitely, Jeff Brigham did not have a good year with the New York Mets. Sam Coonrod, you know, really didn't have a lot of, of relief to appearances. Um, Trevor Gott was a, a trade, and it just, it didn't work out. It did not work out. The Trevor Gott trade did not work out. So, but man, Daniel Vogelback, Luis Guillorme, those are the biggest non-tender guys that this is the big that's the biggest news to be honest and i'm just so happy that daniel vogelback is not going to be on this team because i don't feel like daniel vogelback was the dh answer that the mets thought they was that billy epler thought it was you know for so you know it, it just wasn't daniel vogelback was not the biggest designated hitter that the mets could have and would have improved the team in power this guy was just not good. He hit you, you know, barely any home runs on the season. You know, Daniel Vogelback was not the answer. At the end of the day, he was not the answer. But Luis Guillorme has been a utility man for so many years for the New York Mets. He's, you know, he's had, he had a really down year last season, you know, um, but uh, Luis Guillorme does have some value. He's, he's a great defensively. Definitely, he's smooth as well. So I'm sure a team is going to pick him up, probably sign him for maybe a year or something like that or two years. But going into some other news is DJ Stewart has been signed to a one-year deal to avoid arbitration. So DJ Stewart is coming back to the Mets, baby. I like what DJ Stewart showed the Mets, you know, in the last month of baseball. He hit, uh, he hit for power. He hit like 10 home runs in, 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 in like, it was a history, like it was like 10 games and he hit like nine, nine home runs or something like that. He was hitting home runs. It was like a, a, a lightning bolt hit him, but he changed, you know, uh, his batting stance, you know, basically what he did was, you know, his foot, he, instead of a leg kick, he did a toe tap and that really, really helped him out. He looked like a better a, a bat. He looked like a better guy at the plate, you know. And also, he impressed defensively. He made some really nice plays defensively. Now, you know, you look at a guy like DJ Stewart, Daniel Vogelback. DJ Stewart could run a little bit. This guy was making some nice plays at right field. He was rolling. He was putting energy out there in the outfield. He was doing everything that he can for the New York Mets when they gave him a chance, when they called him up from AAA. And he, he, I like what he showed. So why not give him a one-year you know, deal? I like the deal. I like that you know, um, Dave Stearns is getting rid of Daniel Vogel back. Luis Guillorme you know, doesn't really have much value anymore because now you got Ronnie Mauricio and you got a, a, a couple of more infielders. You know, they just signed also a, a utility man, Zach Short, as well. So I guess Luis Guillorme is not really valuable to the New York Mets anymore. So it makes sense why he's getting non-tendered. But man, Daniel Vogelback, Luis Guillorme, did, those are the biggest non-tenders. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Daniel Vogelback. Are you guys happy that Daniel Vogelback is finally off this team? Because I am so happy that he's off this team. I, I, I've been waiting for this day 
for probably, you know, definitely uh, last, you know, the last, once the season started in 2023, I couldn't wait to this day. So I'm so happy that he's been non-tendered. Um, you know, Luis Guillorme, he had a good run with the New York Mets. He did his thing. He played really good defense. He had that big, you know, uh, the, the bat flip situation, you know, where he caught the bat. You know, so he he had his, you know, he had some Mets moments. It's not like he didn't. He had a, uh, he had two, probably a home run uh, once in a year in the blue moon, <laughs> to be honest. He, Luis Guillorme did not really have any power. Uh, but man, um, he definitely, you know, had some Mets moments, I would say, but DJ Stewart is going to be back with the Mets, you know, on a one year deal to avoid arbitration. So that's really it guys. That's going to be the end of the video, but yeah, I just wanted to get you guys updated on the non tenders and what was going on with that. And I am so excited that Daniel Bogleback is off this team and yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I love GM for life and I'm gone.